the Excel list we've received contains this data. And as we can see, with this data we are unable to create a personalized mailing. Now usually this would result in a massive manual load of work. But with the Methis data mill we can accelerate this process by up to 95%. All I have to do is select the data and right click. Select the desired function to kick off the process. The results are being written into an additional column so I can compare these with my original data. In this case we've normalized the capitalization. In the next step I want to separate first and last names, with the challenge being double first names and double last names, Maya Udo, Marianne Huber, mixed up entities. And again I select the data and say I want to do something with a first name and I want to extract the first name. The process kicks off and as a result I get two new columns. Double first names, double last names, Udo and Marianne now being in the correct column although they've been mixed up in the original data. We can now hide this data and tend to the addresses. Here we have typical typos like Paris with double S, Madrid, Leipzig and Slasberg as well as abbreviations, missing spaces and special characters. I select the data and with a right click say I want to do something with the personal data and search for the postal address. The tool now asks me which columns contain my address information. I say my streets are in column H. My house numbers are in column H, cities are in column G and I've got no postal codes which is why this column stays empty. The process kicks off and as a result I get the name of the country, the two digit ISO country code, the state, the city, the postal code, the street, the house number as well as latitude and longitude. Additionally, Methis Data Mill translates the address into the language spoken at the corresponding location, including all special characters. We can now hide the original data and get back to the first names. Note, however, that certain first names have different meanings in different countries. For instance, we know that Andrea is a female in Austria, while it's typically a male in Italy. Again, we select the data. Say we want to do something with the first name and identify the gender. The tool now asks me for the two-digit ISO country code, which resides in column J. And as a result, I get the correct gender. Andrea is a male in Italy and a female in Austria. Moving on to the telephone numbers. With those it often happens that Excel recognizes them as numbers and discards the leading zero. I select the data. Say I want to do something with a telephone number. Say I want to format the number. And again it asks me for a country code which is in column K because 0172 can be a landline in Vienna or a mobile number in Germany. The process kicks off and as a result I get the correctly formatted telephone number which every telephone system in the world can recognize as well as if it's a landline or a mobile number. Last but not least the email addresses which we can check in three different layers the first one being the syntax check which basically is a spell check to see if the email address is valid. The second layer is a check if the server is alive and can receive email. And as a third layer we check for so-called disposable email addresses. After structuring my data and getting rid of all errors, I want to run a check for duplicates to identify duplicate entries to a contest. 
Here we've got a short list with two kinds of duplicates, one being an easily findable duplicate, the other one being a typo, which sounds the same but spells differently. For instance, we've got a Joseph Street and a Jasseph Street. I right click any cell and say I want to start the duplicate check and the tool wants to know which is the first name, the last name, the postal code or the street. The results are written into new columns which will always be to the left of the original data. If I now sort this big list by the duplicate ID, I can quickly and easily identify possible duplicates. For digitally generated data, we can start earlier in the process. Here we've got an example of one of our customers. This is a landing page advertising a product and here you can find a contact form. Now this one may look normal until you start typing. I enter Sabine, ignoring capitalization, while the salutation still says Mr. This form automatically identifies the gender. Now moving on to testing the address capabilities. We enter incorrectly spelled street names as well as a spelling mistake in the name of the city. But the form automatically comes back with the correct address. The formatting of telephone numbers will be automatically corrected Incorrect email addresses will be highlighted, which enables the customer to give us good data. And this is how we get clean data right from the start.